Okay, what language do you speak? Okay. Okay, what language? Okay. No. What uh, language do you speak? Eh, 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 I'm Joe, I'm not necessarily a problem. Okay, do you speak Spanish or do you speak Haitian Creole? It's Creole. Creole? Si. Okay, stay on, the, stay on the line, let me get an interpreter. Okay. Welcome to Language Line Solutions. Please enter your six digit point. For Spanish, press one. For other, press two. Please speak the name of the desired language. Haitian Creole. Si, Creole. I understood. Haitian Creole. <laughs> I'm sorry. Please hold for an interpreter. Thank you for calling Language Line Solutions. This is Jonathan. ID number 444396. I will be your Haitian Creole interpreter today. How may I assist today, please? Hi, I'm with the Springfield, Ohio 911 Center, and I have a gentleman on the line saying he speaks Creole, needing some type of assistance. He's already on the line. All right. Thank you, sir. Hey, bonjour, mon capalier. Non, mais c'est Jonathan. Qui s'en vient comme un cadeau? Eh, 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 bonjour. Eh, non, eh, bam, c'est un Jeff. Eh, 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 moi, eh, eh, m'a fait, eh, 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 moi, ben. Qu'on a la moins avec un vidéo de la réflexion de la machine. The Events unfolding in Springfield, Ohio, surrounding the illegal Haitians are more than just concerning. They're a reflection of a much bigger and more insidious plot. Let's cut straight to the chase. False police reports coming from Haitian immigrants are tying up police resources. And that's no accident. It's a symptom of the grander scheme to flood America with illegal migrants and destabilize local communities, all while the media pushes a rigged political outcome. Take, for example, what Nick Sortor reported on September 15th. He recounted a harrowing incident where a Haitian Lyft driver in Springfield called 911, falsely claiming he was surrounded and scared for his life. But in reality, this man just lost his cool because someone took his picture. The 911 call wasted police resources, dispatching multiple units, and the man faced no consequences for his actions. Sortor saw this firsthand and later spoke with an officer who confirmed these absurd calls are becoming more common. He warned of a looming problem. A lot of local Springfield residents are about to have their lives ruined by false reports, I guarantee it. Sortor's testimony can't be brushed off. It's a warning of what's to come if this manipulation of the system isn't stopped. It's almost impressive how quickly someone can learn the ropes of the legal system when they don't even speak the language. Nothing says welcome to America like filing a false police report and getting away with it. Next thing you know, it'll be a core part of the citizenship test. And it's no surprise that the FBI has jumped on this bandwagon, urging Haitian migrants to report so-called hate crimes. The FBI faithfully bending information. Always there when you need a narrative to unravel. This isn't a coincidence. The FBI's involvement smells like the perfect setup, encouraging false accusations that will eventually ruin the lives of many honest, hardworking Americans. It's a dirty game, and taxpayers are footing the bill. You can't look at this situation without seeing the obvious political implications. Migrants have been brought here for a reason, and it's not the one they tell you on the news. It's almost like they're playing a game of how many illegals can you fit into a swing state? Spoiler alert, the prize is a rigged election and a neutered Trump base. Illegal immigrants have been stealing, raping, and killing Americans for years now. Yet somehow, calling them cat eaters, 
provoked more outrage than these horrific crimes themselves. This is just more evidence of how the corporate media spins the narrative, prioritizing outrage over words while sweeping violent crimes under the rug. Make sure you don't miss the real story. Our corporate controlled media has been using immigration as a tool to rally the left and demonize anyone who dares to speak the truth about what's happening. You watch enough corporate media and it becomes clear that immigration is the number one issue that rallies Trump supporters. That's why the media buries stories like Springfield. They don't want the truth out there. They want the whole 2024 operation to be rigged and done with. Just look at what's been happening. Based on recent reports, President Biden himself couldn't resist chiming in. On Friday, September 13th, Biden criticized Trump for spreading claims that Haitian immigrants in Springfield were stealing and eating pets. At a brunch event on the White House South Lawn, Biden, without naming Trump directly, declared, it's simply wrong. There's no room for this in America. What he's doing must come to an end. Biden emphasized the challenges Haitian immigrants face and framed Trump's remarks as fear-mongering. Funny how every time things get a little too real for politicians, they hide behind waves of migrants. Look over here, folks, nothing to see but virtue signaling. Now, remember how Martha's Vineyard handled their migrant situation when 50 Venezuelan migrants showed up, the elites acted with great compassion right up until they quickly arranged for them to be moved to an emergency shelter on the mainland, virtue signaling at its finest. The likes of Barack Obama, Bill Clinton, and Larry David didn't seem too keen on hosting these migrants at their million-dollar estates, though. It's clear the rules don't apply to them. They just like playing humanitarian in front of the cameras. Meanwhile, Springfield, Ohio, gets to deal with false 911 calls and chaos on the streets. It's a good thing English isn't a requirement anymore. I mean, who needs to communicate in the country you've illegally entered? I'm sure it'll all work itself out. Springfield is basically becoming a testing ground for what's coming if we keep letting these schemes play out. It's only a matter of time before Springfield becomes the next big reality show. Survivor, false report, edition. Tune in to watch law-abiding citizens try to dodge bogus accusations while the government cheers them on from the sidelines. The real trick isn't rigging the election. It's making sure Trump's base is too scared to speak up. It's like they're teaching a master class on how to neuter a movement in three easy steps. And the media, of course, is complicit. I guess we should all feel reassured knowing the same media who sold us weapons of mass destruction will sell us Kamala as the next political messiah. Apparently, the media's new definition of progress is watching your town get overrun while you're told it's for the greater good. I must have missed that memo. Alt media sources are the only ones brave enough to report on the real ground situation in places like Springfield. While the mainstream media conveniently ignores this, independent journalists have gone there to tell the real story. The same corporate media, which is busy trying to paint Kamala Harris as the next big winner, won't dare go to Springfield and report the truth. They're too busy pushing a narrative and rigging 2024 hoping to demoralize and neutralize Trump supporters. Don't be fooled for one second. The presence of these migrants and their false police reports isn't a mistake. This is about overwhelming the system, sowing chaos, and ensuring there's no resistance when they push their candidate through. It's not just about the migrants themselves. It's about who they're being used by and why. Apparently, the best use of taxpayer dollars is hiring interpreters for false 911 calls. Glad to see the government's got its priorities in order. Join us in the Middle MAGA Discord, where we tackle the real issues like which emergency services you should call when someone frowns at you. 
The time for action is now. The politicians behind this are committing sedition, treason, insurrection. They want to talk about insurrection, but the real crime was all the peaceful people just standing around in D.C. with no clue they'd been cast as extras in the FBI's latest political thriller. Connect that to what's happening in Springfield, Chicago, Denver, and other cities. The FBI, the corporate media, and the political machine are all working together to crush any resistance. Their coordinated attack includes weaponizing migrants like these Haitian individuals who flood in, cause chaos, and face no consequences. This isn't just Springfield. This is a coordinated effort across the country. The playbook is the same. Overwhelm the system, get the police involved in nonsense cases, and make the local population feel helpless and confused. Middle MAGA.